or <laughs> and the <laughs> smile, like, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I love that. That's great, man. The organization is called the Federal Bureau of Control, and Jesse well gets done, there, yeah, right? And um, it's some things have gone awry, let's say, in the in the building, uh, and Jesse becomes very mysteriously the director of the organization. So right. she's been given this position of power that she doesn't quite understand. She's just here trying to find questions, you know, find out about her past, but is instead instated as the director of the bureau um, chosen by the service weapon. So you're saying the people she is trying to investigate have put her in charge? <laughs> yes. Yes. Wow, okay, okay. So <laughs> I thought I heard you wrong. There's that's, a lot of that going yeah. on right now. That's There's really, a lot going that's on. really wonderfully yeah. confusing. It's I love it. It's wonderfully yeah, confusing. Yeah. <laughs> no, that, but um, throughout this particular um, mission, Jesse um, is looking for other people uh, to, from the management team. So they've all gone missing. She's lifting the lockdown here. Um, asked by Emily Pope, one of the main researchers in the organisation, for help. She's asked her to go do this and find other people in the management team to see if they can work out what's going on. Yeah, we wanted to have this really immediate uh, kind of experience to start playing the game. Like, you enter the building, uh, you're kind of looking for answers, and I think within the first 10 minutes, you become the director of this bureau. And uh, what has happened is this strange supernatural invasion that has been contained within the building, and it's essentially corrupting, taking over the people, the building itself, and uh, essentially it's a massive disaster zone, like a supernatural disaster zone. And um, you as the director need to then start dealing with it and figure out you know, how to solve it, what to do and so on. At the same time, there's this uh, other aspect where you're trying to find out what happened to your brother. Now, is there like different ways you can play the game? Because I, I, it seems like you might be able to do stealth. Is there a stealth element? Is, do you do you just like kind of run and run and action, 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 or is there like variations? Uh, this is hundred percent an action game. So, okay. So okay. You pretty much have nice. problems with you know your uh, supernatural abilities, or you have service weapon, which is this strange uh, object of power that you get as you become the director that you use. Uh, in combat, yes. and um, so and there are there is this other side to the experience though. Like there is a lot of fighting and so on, as you try to deal with the enemies and the corrupted humans in this place. Uh, but there's the other side of uh, like there's still people who have been able to not be affected by the supernatural force. Okay. Uh, oh. They have remained as humans, yes. and um, and they are protected by certain means. And as you go through the building, you will from time to time find them and then work together with them in trying to figure this out. Well, just just watching that little uh, exchange with the, I'm guessing an NPC. Yes. Um, <laughs> that's Artie. That's Artie. Yes. He's, the, he's the, the janitor. Sheer, like, uh, not to get like into the nuts and bolts of it, but like the sheer like emotion and and detail on his face is astounding it's really really good i don't know what did you guys do to mocap or like yeah pretty yeah. much we we worked a lot on on this technology to be able to basically replicate live actors in the game as well as possible uh in the previous game we did quantum break so we spent a lot of yeah. time perfecting that uh kind of a pipeline the processes and all the different means that we can you know get the likeness into the game. Mm. And uh, it's, it's paying off in all kind of uh, all upcoming games, including Control. Now, this isn't, I don't think it's spoilery because you put it in the, you put it in the trailer. Right. But uh, these powers, mm. yes. what's the deal? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's probably a crappy interview question, but no, a good I mean, question. No, what's the deal with Jessie the powers? Jessie has the, the ability to bind objects of power to her that give her abilities. And many of these are uncoverable in main missions and side missions as well. Um, and they uh, give you the ability, for example, shields, allows you to bring objects around you to shield from attacks. Evade allows you to quickly um, move uh, out of the way or in order to, you know, dodge or to get some... Um, oh, I use it to travel quickly. <laughs> but it's really fun. Um, and so the, the challenge is balancing your abilities with your gunplay uh, at the same time. But you also, in side missions, meet other characters like Arish here. This is uh, Chief Security Arish. He's super cool um, and helps Jesse with this particular mission to lift the lockdown. He's just as confused as everyone else about what's going on. 
um, and trust you him. you uh, do some side you do a side mission for him as well later, which builds out his character. This is actually different for Remedy, not necessarily for games, but something that we wanted to try, which is having a main storyline, but also having side missions that the player can choose to follow up on and learn more about the world and the story, as well as have um, conversations with the characters and choose to delve more into the world and the lore that we've built up around this game, if that's what they're interested in. That, I was actually going to ask about that as far as the, the side quests are optional. I was just, yep. And yeah. uh, if you want to discover, like, the entire encapsulating story of the world side quests are important to like put the pieces together yes yeah. absolutely okay now, there's okay. a lot of things we're doing in the side missions actually uh, there are entire bosses and so on that are optional for you to experience it was important for us that we create a world you and said bosses right yeah there will yeah. be bosses. <laughs> like that's, bosses that's a good word i like that word <laughs> and, um, and so basically it was important for us to create a world that there's a sense of opportunity within it like you can choose how you go through it there's a lot of exploration there is a main campaign so there's this main arc for jesse that we want to tell uh, but there's plenty of other things you can do as well so we wanted to have this metroidvania feel to this world so a lot of exploration it's, it's a bit of a uh, different direction compared to games that we've done before, and um, it was important for us to, to explore that side. Mm. And, no, uh, oh, yeah. Go ahead. I was going to say that usually a boss battle gives you a major reward. You mentioned additional storyline stuff, but I'm guessing maybe access to powers you otherwise wouldn't have access to, maybe additional firepower or things like that would be rewards as well? Yeah, we have, um, so you can uh, get your hands on, on additional pieces of power or uh, what we call modifications. So you can mod your character, oh. you can mod your gun. Uh, so there's plenty of different types of rewards in the game that you can find. Yeah, because one of the greatest powers I saw is that your, your gun just has a reload button and that's it. There's no ammo count that I can see that says right. you only have 100 max bullets left. It's just reload, right. reload, reload. Yeah, it's, uh, it's the, the weapon uh, we call service weapon and uh, yeah, it's essentially a supernatural weapon. So, and it can shape shift into different forms and each form has a very kind of a different gameplay style to it. And because it is a supernatural object, there is no kind of concept of ammo. It just has energy, and then you <laughs> kind of uh, pace the use of your weapon together with the abilities. The abilities are more tactical, and the gun is more like you know that pow pow pow. You get your kind of a quick, quick actions with the gun, and then use the abilities to tactically move through the world. So you can levitate, or as Brooke said, like use the shield and do all these other kinds of things as well. No, it leads to oh. very, very kind of fast gameplay. Sorry. Yes. No, that's right. Um, when talking about like the different things you can acquire skills and, and, and uh, power up, so to speak, um, is there a tree or is it like pretty linear? Do you get to choose like what kind of like if I want to be more more focused on shooting or more fo focused on like uh, psych psychic abilities or whatever? Uh, there are ability trees where you can um, so you, you need to acquire ability points to invest in the ability tree and each each uh, ability have their own little tree. They're not complicated, so there's some choice that you have. Uh, the bigger thing that we wanted to have as an experience was that you need to actually go out and find these different opposite of power that grant you these abilities separately. So that's, that's part of the experience. And then, yes, you can make them more powerful. You can unlock uh, new perks for them as well. Like, for instance, when you create that shield that protects you from damage, uh, there's an additional perk that you can get through the upgrade system where you can launch it off and basically wreck up the enemy standing in front of it. So there are these little, little gameplay additions that we do as you upgrade the powers. And it really makes exploration worthwhile. So we really oh, do yeah, encourage yeah. Um, players to go out and look around the oldest house because there is um, so much to discover. There's a lot of detail in this world and in these environments. Um, you know, where you go off, you'll find a side mission which will grant you an ability which you otherwise might not have, um, which definitely rewards gameplay-wise and story-wise at the same time. So, the, and same with the environmental storytelling. Like, the environments are absolutely gorgeous. We're looking at the maintenance sector at the moment, um, which is the underbelly of the oldest house where there is a power plant and, and a water plant that keeps everything going. What is that? There are a few unsavory <laughs> things to say, discover that, that, down there. Yeah. Is that, is that <laughs> I don't want to say it, but like, it looks like, you know. Doo -doo.
are about to be exposed to a different kind of resonance. Hostile, viral, invasive resonance. The hiss escaping the building would be the end. Pretty shitty world out there if you ask me, but I wouldn't want the hiss to destroy it. The hiss? That's what we're calling him? That's catchy. Don't worry. It'll be, uh, quick and painless. Fair warning. This is gonna be weirder than usual.